Hey, Tim and Joel. We're talking about pet P, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, PDA yeah. now um, mm. because people love to really get in there and pash their pet. Uh, um, 13, 24, 10, if you have experienced it, you've seen it, are you a pet PDA person? My godson, um, Jed, is a Cocker Spaniel. <laughs> I and I just Jed. call him my godson. He's so cute. And I let him give me a... I let him kiss me. I don't care. Mm, I've done worse. Really? Yeah, I don't care. It's a bit I've beautiful and he's excited to see me. <laughs> and, and that's not very common. So I'll, I'll take it where I can get it. But they lick their... They're balls and stuff. Although I guess you p- you kiss other people that do that. <laughs> I know. Whatever. Who cares? A bit of bacteria is good for you, I think. Yeah. You say oh, that. No. Yeah, I oh, don't know. Maybe you're the wrong person to it's ask. Funny games until you get pink eye. <laughs> well, I, I did have a sore eye the other day, actually, after Jed stayed. I didn't even think about that. Um, and you shouldn't be. You shouldn't be passionate. I'm not passing him. I'm not putting my tongue down. He's, I, mean, I don't he's even know why. I'm, you. I've seen the videos. Oh, he's. They just lick you. your whole face. Ugh. It's fine. I don't care. I don't mind. I think it's cute. Um, But a physician has warned the public that they should never kiss their dog on the mouth. Oh, okay. Take the fun out of it. That's me barking orders around the office. Mm. Oat latte. I want more salad. (laughs) Gemma has to walk me around the office in a big handbag. (laughs) Just because there's a handbag on wheels and that's just how you get around? (gasps) Oh. That is a great idea. Maybe right? I should come on stage like that one year. Oh, you know, like That'd Adele so did. Good. That's how she got to the stage. Remember that? That everyone was like, oh, my God, you know Adele was in the, uh, the road caves? Yeah, everyone does. Shut the front door. <laughs> that is wild. I know. Um, Let me push you around in a road case. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Coffin. And then just um, never let you out. <laughs> I know. I know. Keep you for myself. Well, fair enough. I don't blame I you. Jeffrey Dahmer. I know. Well, oh, don't get me started. I wouldn't eat him. Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> Why not? No, you dog germs all over your face. Yeah, I'd just say, tell me a joke and then get back in your box. <laughs> okay. Who would you eat first, me or Ricky Lee? <laughs> Don't answer. That's going to get me in trouble office. either way. Okay. <laughs> all right. Um, I was like, look, okay, I'm, I'm just offended. One, one of you will be on tray, no one of you will be main, and then the other one yeah. would be dessert. Well, I, yeah. I'm bigger, so I'd be the main course, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, but I'm full of chicken nuggets from yesterday. So I've got a yum, big yum, rump. Yum. Do you like steak, Tim? Are you serious? <laughs> I'd have some chimichurri on the side of you, and then I'd have some sweet and sour sauce on the side of Joel. Yes, we know oh, yeah. it's apricot, apricot flavoured. Yes. Yeah. Mm. Well, this doctor, this physician, has warned that bacteria can be passed from the dog to human and can cause some pretty nasty um, issues, including systemic infection, <laughs> septic shock, and even gangrene. Oh, oh not here for that. Um, and if the gangrene gets so bad, oh my god, amputation may become the only treatment available. And then you really oh, no. will have to be pushed around in a handbag with wheels. What is yeah. septic shock? That sounds like a, a tank of poo, or something a, like your, a, like a yeah, something a Pokemon. Your would body do. gets shock. so um, filled with sepsis <laughs> that oh. you your that there's different levels, and when you get to a certain level, you can die. It happened to my dad um, about oh. a year and a half ago. It was terrible. Okay. Wow. Okay. Are you a physician a... in this story? I am. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Wow. Yes, That's, Dr. Coulter. <laughs> Kulta. It's pronounced Kulta. Yeah, I know, don't you know? Kulta Joel. I know. That's that is one thing. I was today years old when two months ago. Um, yep. The Centre for Disease Control has backed like all this up, saying that the germs can spread to people through bites and scratches or close contact from a dog or cat. I don't need to hear the words close contact together ever again after the pandemic. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, you're a close contact. You're a close contact. I'm just reading about really sepsis, like... sorry, because I think that I might know, be what I get going? in my finger. You know, sometimes oh. that my, my finger after music festivals just gets a little Isn't bit that we- gout? weird. No, it's not gout. I think I think they may have said sepsis. Just a oh. bit of sepsis in the nail. Why just in your finger. What are you up to? A festival? It's just, and, and sometimes it moves down my hand. So one year it was this finger. One year it was this finger. The other one it was this finger. Oh, that's what? so gross. It's so painful. <laughs> are you sure your rings aren't too tight? Um, no, they're fine. I, okay. I I still almost need like a doctor to confirm why you get it just in your fingers. Right, well they can't. Sometimes doctors don't know everything as much as they'd like to tell you otherwise. That's true. You big smarty pants. As we get it, you went to school for ages and just paid off your debt. <laughs> Not my fault. <laughs> hey, I'm Anthony and Beck. Stay there. We're going to get some calls on next. Thirteen twenty four ten. It is pet. PDA. I would like to say it's a safe place, but we are probably going to not like it, except Joel Mike. All about pets in here today, and more specifically dogs and cats, and 
PDA because some people are kissing their animals. You can come oh like God, French goodness. kissing. It's not even my dog. It's a dog that I look after sometimes and really I'm obsessed with. I love Jed. He's so cute. If you kiss your French really bulldog, does that mean you're French kissing it? Well, I guess so. Yeah. Oh. Fun. I am in the market for a dog, though. Are oh, you yeah, on a waiting I list? You, I thought... You, yeah, yeah I am. Is it happening? Oh, yeah, it's happening. Early next what year. What kind of Get dog? Get ready. A chow chow. Of I know. Course. They've got the blue that's, tongues. They're so they're cute. the best. But you know mm. there's going to be hair everywhere. Oh, like, that's fine. That's fine. I can deal with that. Well, someone you can know, deal with that. Someone, <laughs> someone can deal with that. Yeah. I'll be bringing her in here every day. Oh, you're getting a girl dog, are you? Yeah, we need some. We need a, we need a lady in the house because we're two we boys that live together. Energy. I Absolutely. do hear that girl dogs, boy cats. That's the way to go. Okay. Mm. I've, you know? I've had a girl dog and I didn't like her. It was my mum's what? dog. Maybe she oh, didn't like mom. me. I don't yeah, know. maybe that. Yeah. <laughs> a bit of dog fight. I've got a boy cat though. Boy cats are the best. Boy cats are like little dogs. They're like they're just happy to see you. They're happy for you to be around. But you can still leave them for a weekend and go away. <laughs> cats yeah, are so affectionate though, are they? Well, Bricks just likes being near you. He doesn't want to be on your lap and stuff. He's just happy to be around you. So if you're over here, he'll just be over there. Yeah. Do you give Bricks kisses? Um, <laughs> like, oh, Bricks. <laughs> and then that's it. Yeah, but that's no it. No kisses. Well, this is this 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 physician, this unnamed physician, said that mm-hmm. even Coulter. close contact with an animal, Dr. Coulter, can, can result in sepsis and amputation and the bubonic plague and all this stuff that they're terrifying us with. Okay, Anthony, yo, yo, what are you doing with your pet? Are you uh, full-on PDA? <laughs> I'm a full-on PDA, guys, for sure. I've got an English staffy and we picked her up from uh, an animal shelter. She's been with us now for about six years and she loves her family, including her dad. Oh, I love that. Get home from work and she's just like, whoa, whoa, whoa. And then, <laughs> is that home, is he? Okay, come out. There's like kissing cuddles and you get down my knees and she jumps all over me, bobbles all over me. I don't oh. mind at all. It goes and the, so how much, you love how much the big, wet you. kisses. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. I agree. I agree, Anthony. Don't listen oh, to these guys. other two. It's gorgeous. Mm, he's at the JP's office every second day, though. He failed to mention that bit. <laughs> Yeah, with swollen fingers like you. <laughs> yes. It's only after festivals. I think something gets into my nail. Oh, what? Bacardi. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Um, hello to you, Beck. Hello. Hello. Hi. Pet oh, Pedia, isn't she? Listen, these pet people are so up and about. Mm-hmm. Hi, Beck. How's yeah. it going? Oh, so good. What sort of animal do you own and, and do you pass it? So, <laughs> we've, got a little, we've got a little puppy who's... About six months old. Um, I'm super allergic to him, but oh. we just go to town on each other. Oh, go to town. And I'm so allergic. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So it's the happiest dog in town. I think there's like the consent line's a little bit blurry, but look, we <laughs> are obsessed. And I'm super allergic, so I've got um, really big puffy, currently a really big puffy red, like scratchy eyes. But and is there anything that you can have to, to stop that? Like, is not like a Zyrtec, but something like that? Probably cats, um, just, yeah, not dogs. <laughs> um, but, yeah, look, we're obsessed. My partner does it too, but he, of course, walks around fine and I look like Shrek. So, um, <laughs> yeah. we, we love it. It's worth it. But, yeah. It's yeah, it's worth it. Right. Well, you're saying they're always up and about, but they're also a bit, always a bit low big. Yeah. No, we well, put calls pet. out for like, oh, how did you lose a limb or yeah. or you ever dated your grandmother or something and they're all like, moo, moo, moo. But then we get the, the, the pet owners on and they're joyous. I loved yeah. it. It's their one phone call from the asylum. Oh, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I just want your Tim and Joel Nova. Remember earlier in the week, Joel, I was telling you about that guy in the park that had the tuft of red back hair just sticking out of the <sighs> neck of his shirt? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, mm. um, Ricky, you are yeah. obsessed. I'm obsessed. With hair. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I just think that this is so wild. There's a guy that's been named Mr. Teddy Bear mm-hmm. because his body hair is <gasps> so thick. Look at him. He's like a, oh, he's wow. like a human werewolf. Oh, like he's Jesus. basically got a blanket on his body of hair. Oh, I know people that would be so into him. 
Really? Yeah. Oh, look at the back. Oh, the back is... <sighs> that's weird, isn't it? Like, you could plait that. Like, under his lats there, that is thick. Just really quickly, 13, 20, 14, jump on the phone. Are you hairy? Are you proud? Or do you fancy? <laughs> do you fancy <laughs> a bit of hair? 13, 20, 14 oh. is the number. Yeah. Blow drying his body hair. Like, that is a lot of... <laughs> Imagine in summer, like... In northern Queensland, the humidity, how hot he would be. Oh, my God. Imagine oh, him at a Bali fizzy. wedding. <laughs> oh, my oh. gosh. But he's obviously gets, like, it makes a bit of coin out of, like, modelling his body hair because he's, like, he's, he's fit. He's incredibly fit. He is. And he's quite attractive. Oh, oh right. Gosh, he's is actually he? brushing, he's brushing he's not, it. He's not, he's not hideous. No. No, I, you're right. I think there was, like, a, a while that he said that he was a bit ashamed of his hair and I think his partners... I wonder if he's gay or straight. He was being shamed for his body hair, so he tried, like, lasering and waxing and all of that, but he's he's embracing himself. Mm. He's going oh, yeah, with the, with, with the full are, body fur. Yeah, really into the laser. But you've got to be careful because then it can come back patchy, they say. Okay. Is that good? Is he, he's not an otter, is he? He's too old to be an otter. No, that's a, he's a bear, oh. right? Oh, he's, is, a bear. Oh, he's, a, he's a cub. No, is cub. he? Yeah, because a, a bear old. is a bear like big and bit chubby. Well, is that a bear? I think I think no, a bear's like that. No, not forty <laughs> plus. Bears are probably oh, like forty plus. I think oh, so I don't know. About, the bear sorry, community sorry, are very guys. no. That's okay. The bear community are just um. You know, there's so many different communities within my community that um I can't quite give, put a specific on it. But right. they tend to be older. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I mean, neither of you seem like you know very hairy specimens. No, I'm a twink. Oh, You're a twink. You're Is a that twink. what would Tim be a twink I'm as well? Plus. Oh no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I think I'm past no. my twink days. Yeah, no. Well, you were, you were a twink back in the day. Yeah, when I part when of I our community when I pushed my uh, hair forward and had blonde tips, gel yeah, blonde tips. You actually? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't I don't have much hair around here. Can you grow a beard? Oh no, I could I could grow a goatee. If I wanted yeah. to, but thin oh, people no. with a goatee look like they're going <laughs> to just shoot the place down. Yeah, yeah. don't you grow a goatee? I'm not I don't going to. A guy with a beard. Yeah, Rich has, like a, has quite a thick, solid beard, but he's you know kind of neck down. He's not like that. Jeez. Now let's see, Jaden. You're in your twenties, I think, are you? Uh, yeah, twenty six, and I'm an uh, unwanted bear. I, I don't want to be a bear. Oh. oh, you don't oh. want to be. Re- have you th- have you tried you know hair removal tactics? <laughs> Um, I've done a little bit of waxing, but it's just way too much to stay on top of. And I've got tattoos, really? so I can't get laser. Oh, no. Oh. How, how did they tattoo through the hair? The hair? <laughs> <laughs> they, they shave you before. Yeah, they, they I even get shaved. I even get shaved for the tats. Yeah, got, everyone gets shaved for your tats. I don't oh, I get shaved. Tattoo, do you do, so I don't know. No, nor do I. Do, do, do you have to shave it yourself, or do, does someone shave it for you? No, they shave it. The tattoo artist. <laughs> Clipping bones. the hair to the side and like tattooing. No, a you're a <laughs> no. They, they shave it off like lines. They shave it yes. off and then they put it on and then it grows back over the top. Sometimes. So, you love to be inked. I would. Hmm. D- 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 uh, getting the tattoo would se- seem kind of if there's a lot of hair there. Do you really see that the tattoos prominent, Jaden? Uh, I try not to get tattoos in really, really hairy spots. So most of them are on my arm. Legs. Yeah. Um, okay. But yes, yeah, so I've started getting shoulder and back hair, so no more back hair. Back hair. Oh my god. Oh, what's the hairiest spot shade? Oh no, oh. never mind. No, no, quick guy. What is it? My chest. Yeah, good. Oh, your chest. Yes. Okay. Roar. 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 <laughs> You've made Ricky and Joel weak at the knees, Jaden. <laughs> Kate, Tim and Joel on Nova. Don't you take your headphones off, big dog. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? I am, I am busy, just busy, busy today. All right. You know what you run yeah. off your feet doing. Bad Checking shot. the latest in app news. We haven't done app chat for ages, but we've got a Bad double... Shot. Hit of app chat today. Firstly, it's Instagram. Second, it's TikTok. I think I think I've heard of them. Well, you know the Instagram I, story? I, um, yeah, I've got so many pieces of paper. Well, in can here I, today. Oh, let me. Can I give you the Instagram one because oh, I okay, like no, this? I've got it. I've got it. Okay, yeah. then you do it. You go. Okay. Well, Instagram is testing a new option, <laughs> which would enable you. Oh, this is so nice space to add a song to your profile. So Ooh, the song will live in your Instagram no. bio and be, yeah, and be like when you used to log on to your MySpace yes. page. What was I can't remember the song yours? I had. I had the Ting Tings. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. That's not, That's my, not name. my name. Mm. Yeah. Either I think I may have really had an Arctic like Monkey song. I think I might have had just like Bet You Look Good on the Dance Floor or something. Of course. Oh, Did you have your own music, Ricky? 
I, probably, I was just going to say, I was probably that loser that had my own song on there. That's Nothing probably not. It it's worth. Maybe. Or it would have been some kind of Beyonce, Destiny's Child, or an, some kind of R&B Fridays world type song. That would, be, <laughs> yeah. that would sound like <laughs> That's me. a different network, but that's fine. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm mad for that. I loved. I, you know what? I was such a good. Um, I was good at HTML code on my MySpace. I, I, it's oh, a skill I wish oh, that I kept because you had to do it all yourself. Like if you wanted you the word Tim Blackwell bold, not bald, bold, bold, um, yeah, you'd have to do the little greater than sign and then a B yeah. and then a slash or something and then another less than sign. Oh, yeah, we're right. all coding. We're all hackers. Like, yeah. To, yeah so, so if that we're Optus hacker is, if that Optus hacker is listening, oh, you think you're special, mate? We can all do it. We all had a MySpace, babe. <laughs> don't, don't, don't be all. We uppity. all downloaded from Napster. Can you believe we all yeah. did that though? Even that was so hard. Imagine telling telling a 15 year old that if you wanted to put an Instagram page together, you'd have to HTML code it. They'd you be like, genuinely Rrr. had to know computer coding. It was yeah. wild. Yeah. Okay. Mm. And then I've the got second a TikTok update for you too. Yeah. yeah. Cuz okay. we're surfing on the internet. You're going yeah. surfing on the internet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> TikTok says they will be setting up an adults only option on their app. Oh, or trying to get like a, a sexy s- option. Or? Yeah, I think so. Trying to get really? a little slice of the OnlyFans pie. Oh. Um, so the app plans to introduce a new way for creators. That's what so influencers are called creators now. I've learned that recently. Oh gosh, are they? Um for creators to choose if they prefer to reach an adult-only audience in their <laughs> videos. Oh. But that would, I reckon, be pretty easy to get mixed up and a kid to end up, right? Like yes. The things that my oh, little yes. sister sees on her TikTok and Instagram, I'm like, whoa, yeah. you shouldn't have that. Yeah, I know. Yeah. I think they need to work on some of that stuff. I, I've got a friend who has a young daughter who has come across some hideous videos, not even sexy ones. Hideous well, videos you have to on do TikTok. Is type in like type in. Are you over eighteen? Sometimes it just says yes or give a give a date of birth. And you, kids are smart; they just make it up. Oh yeah, everyone can like count to eighteen and work out what yeah. year it should have been that yeah. I was born, and then add a couple because yeah. you don't want to be just eighteen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like. Well, I like it. The adults are talking, guys. That's TikTok and Instagram for you. Nice little app roundup, Joel Creasy. Thank you. I was a bit flustered at the start. <laughs> I but don't I know. We're very busy today. Um, Glossy's coming up, and then, of course, your next shot at $10,000 every single weekday. Is it October? I, I haven't got confirmation of that yet. It's every weekday in October. Okay, good. Thank you for the thumbs up. Kate, Tim, and Joel Nova. Our next guest loves to bang on about music. Let's play Spicks and Spicks. What was it? What was it? Whether it's on radio, podcasts, or hosting Eurovision alongside our very own Joel, Joel Creasy. All right. Yeah. Australia. And she's just released a memoir titled Time of My Life. Please welcome Miff Worse. Yeah! Oh, hello, Miff Hello, Joel. How is hello, this? Hello, Tim. Hello, Ricky. How are you? Joining us from our full East Coast extravaganza <laughs> radio show. This is amazing. Transcontinental. Yes. It feels, it feels like, you know, it feels like we're on the, um, what was the aeroplane that went really fast? The Concorde. Oh, the Concorde. The Concorde. And, like, you're going to be like Phil Collins on New Year, <laughs> way, way, way back when, where he flew across the world to do two concerts. That's oh, what yes. this feels like. Oh, it's so cool. Thank you. Although Joel did mention it would have been helpful if you were in a different state just to make uh, the rest of the country <laughs> feel better. I, I should have gone to Adelaide. <laughs> just to yeah, represent. Well, we were joking um, that, well, I, I sort of worked out that you were coming into play, and then we were joking that between yourself and Ricky Lee, you are the two busiest humans oh. in showbiz right now. <laughs> Aside from yourself and Tim. No, you've been everywhere. No, don't drag me into this. You, you. You're the three are of you, you are nuts. Are you yeah, jet-setting it, around as well? I am. It's been wild. It's so nice. I think coming out of lockdown for a couple of years, I just went, I'll say yes to everything, and now I'm saying yes to everything, and I forgot I'm old and I'm exhausted. I know. um, You're you're doing a musical. (laughs) Yeah, I'm doing a musical. I've said yes to that. I'm like, take any risk I want. I'm going to go and join the cast of Rocky Horror. That's so exciting, (laughs) Miff. Oh, you're going to be so good. I know. I've got the narrator role, though, so it doesn't mean I'm doing anything and dancing. Because does that mean you don't have to learn lines? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm just wrapped with it. Yeah, it's oh, it's like written for me. Oh, that'll be awesome. Oh, mm. what am I going to wear to opening night? Oh, oh gosh. <laughs> something wear something your pearls. saucy. Of course. Yeah, I've got my pearls on today. Oh, so presumptuous you. being invited to an open night. You don't know that you of will be. Of course it's going to be 
invited. Of course. It's a musical. Me, I'll be there. You're all invited. I'll make sure you're all invited because this is the one chance I'll be able to say I've got tickets to my musical. <laughs> Well, hang on. Let's let's not let's not put the cart before the horse because you've also got a book out, which I, I know. I, unless Ricky, you've got a secret book out. I don't know, but no, uh, no. I, I I would take forever to write a book. I don't know how you've done it. Yeah. Oh, look, it was kind of easy in the end because I realised every single story relates to music in some way. And I reckon, Ricky, if you did write it, yours would be the same. Mm. In fact, all of us, we yeah. all have musical memories. It's like a great meal or a, a flavour. Mm. It takes you right back. So when I wrote the book, it was really easy. I just picked songs and went, right, that captures the mood yeah. and then, then launches the story. You know, so. you said something on Monday night at your book launch. that Well, Joel yeah. hosted your Melbourne one. I went on Monday night. Um, and you said that your favourite songs tend to choose you. you you don't choose them. I'm like, mm. sometimes on a Monday night when you've had a couple of glasses of red wine, you're like, bang, that just knocked me for six. <laughs> wow. Did you know? that's, that's great. What, what, what favourite song did you have growing up that, um, because you're very similar to me. Like We're not in bands mm. or anything. We just happen to know a lot of people who can do music. We just like music. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We are fans of yes. music. And, yeah, I was thinking about that comment. That just came out of nowhere. I've been, I have been thinking a lot about it, though. So many of the songs of our lives mm. are just stuff that's around. You don't get mm. necessarily a choice. Yeah, that's in that. true. It's only when you get older and you start to formulate your taste and, and decide who you want to be or how you want to project do you choose a certain <laughs> style of music. But prior to that, like for me, I had no choice but to love Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton's <laughs> Islands in yeah. the Street yes. because yeah. it was around. And yeah. Kenny looked like Santa Claus. And <laughs> Dolly is amazing and all bobbly and big boobs. And, you know, it was I was kind of lucky for that, I think. Oh, that's like us with David Gwen and Becky Hill around this place. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hang on, you don't can't, forget Joel Corey and Becky Hill's new big one, History. Oh, and Joel Corey and Becky Hill. Oh, Becky's in and everything, isn't oh, she? Oh, Becky's killing yeah. it at the moment. Becky's breaking it in. But she could still walk down the street, you know? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> because it's Becky That's Hill. That's the sort of fame you want. <laughs> and, um, the the family, kind of fame I've got. I like it. <laughs> how are we feeling about Liverpool as, you, as the host of Eurovision next year? Well, I'm very excited. I'm already planning to take you on a tour of the Beatles' house, you know, like Wonderful. Paul McCartney's house or John Great. Lennon's house. I'm not sure which. But <laughs> oh, you'll be a good tour guide. I, I'm pretty sure that's all there is to do in Liverpool. <laughs> I so know. after that, we'll see you at the local And also park, everybody's Liverpool Bring accent on. consists of just saying Liverpool. Like, yeah. No one else knows what else to say. <laughs> yeah, or they're Liverpugglians. I know that, but that's it. Well, these are, two are going to come. Are people from Liverpool quite rough? Oh, uh, Ricky, I that's think... racist. Jesus. Oh, oh, no, well, that's what I've, I, that's what I've kind of gathered. The, that quite it's quite the a stereotype. GC like. I know. Oh, right. It's a, it's, a, it's a working class area, I think. Northerners, there was a lot of mining and a lot of industry. So yes. um, they, they just didn't speak posh, I think, like the Londoners down south. That was all. Yeah. No different. The though. first question I texted Miff when we heard it was Liverpool, well, I did text her and say, is there a Soho house there? And Miff <laughs> went, went and checked for me. <laughs> And is there? The, no. no there's, a, unfortunately. there's a country house that's probably two hours away. That could do for oh, a night, night oh, away. Oh, the farmhouse is yeah. there. So, so what are you going to commute yeah. to London every night after a year of vision over? <laughs> we one year debated that. when we, we, yeah. Also, at the same time you were there, Blackers, Miff and I were in Windsor covering the um, the royal yes. wedding for SBS with yeah. Ray Martin. That's another story. And <laughs> um, and we did the math on how... Oh, we had very early flights the next morning, but we did the math on how long it would take us to get into London and go to Soho House for a month. Margarita. <laughs> but, then, but then we got to London and we realised we were just too tired no. to even try. So we had a Prosecco with Angela Bishop That's instead. Right. Perfect. <laughs> but Australians are good Perfect. like that because we travel, like, right, so we were already far enough away from home. So an extra hour and a half into London, oh, who cares? Yeah, why not? Yeah, I know. there's people we in London that don't even go to Spain and stuff. I'm like, you know what's on your doorstep? Just get on a yeah. plane, get on a Ryanair flight and get over there. Get on an uneasy jet. Yes. <laughs> you fine. Standing room only. Get on it. Now, oh, um, I can't believe it, but it is actually tied in terms of the scoreline for Quick okay. Draw, Miff and Joel. Because, uh, Joel, you won the first time. And then, Miff, oh. you won last in May. Mm. Okay. I really want to win as much as you are my favourite human to ever draw I breath. I do want to win, and I'm on this <laughs> this mic again. <laughs> oh, I know the studio set up. They, well, they're blowing up that studio next week, so are they? yeah. Well, next week or the so week we, after. So we could do some destruction on the way out. Absolutely, like oh, a leaving right. party. Yeah, punch a wall on your way out, though. Okay, sure, sure. <laughs> or just draw. A, Plenty. Take whatever you want. Get a sharpie yeah. and draw cock and balls in reception. Just <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right on the desk. <laughs> 
I did that last time. Oh, I was yeah, here. that's a trademark. Oh, that was yours. I knew. Yeah. I knew it was Is that you put when you're signing books? Do you put a little pain in there, like before hers? With a few little little hairs. <laughs> we actually a extra detail for the fans. If you you'd like this, because for, for my birthday, um, because the teams are tied us, uh, they decided to get me a card, and they all drew. A, a peen, right? And then I had to guess <laughs> whose peen was whose. And the one that took my breath away, I mean, Ricky's was large. That was, that was, that was crazy. And very detailed myth. I had veins and everything. Yeah. Oh, good, good work, Ricky. Well done. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Um, <laughs> but Brie, Brianne, our producer, took our, took our breath away because it was the only one that's ever been drawn front on. Oh, and yes. I'm like, wow. I mean, you know, you've got to draw what you know. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> it was like an elephant trunk. <laughs> You're right, it's always on the side. Of course isn't it? it is. I'm like, what? Yeah. Perspective. Gosh, she really has done her research. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Anthony Albanese, our Prime Minister, is here with the rules for Quick Draw. Take oh, it yes. away, Albo. I'm Anthony Albanese, and these are the official Quick Draw rules. Tim will give a category and a letter. The first to yell out a correct answer gets a point. The first answer you yell out is locked in. Best out of seven wins. Ultimately, Tim will exercise his discretion. Oh, that's my favourite rule. Thank you, Prime Minister. Uh, uh, there are new ones. He's re-recorded them for I us. I thought so. Wow. Mm. He's also done a, yeah. a range of Stacey Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> you can join the cast of thousands uh, we have in here. <laughs> Yes. People can't believe it that the Prime Minister has done our quick-draw rules. It's uh, so no, cool. Believe it, believe it. And I can't believe it when Grand Denya comes in too all the time. <laughs> oh, yeah, yes. Denya's here all the time. Ranger Stacey, it's Manu. It's amazing. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, and his Ranger Stacey. Well. Ranger. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Grand Denya loves it, but he, he normally just does it from home. He's got a little setup at home, Grant. Yeah, he just in pops Bathurst. his head in. Yeah. yeah. Him and Shez. <laughs> did you do Bathurst this year, Ricky? Did you watch Bathurst this year, Ricky? I haven't spoken I to didn't. you since then. I didn't. I was filming Idol, so I didn't get to watch it, but I did watch the Formula One when I got home because it was V8 and the big... Formula One's on the same weekend. It was like, wow! Miff, Ricky's a big petrol head. Like, yeah. loves yeah. her cars. Are you too? Oh, look, I drive one. <laughs> <No>. um, <laughs> but I, do, I don't mind the cars, actually. It's it's very noisy, though. Um, Your, is that, are you still in that my one? My car, yeah. Are you still in that one? No, no, oh, my right. car's fine. It's going. Yeah, it's that, going. That's as good as it gets. You don't have one of those back windows that's just like a plastic bag, sticky taped over the top of it because you're just meaning to get to it? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's <work>. my house. <laughs> okay, let's do a practice question. Albo's giving the rules. Right. Here we go. This is for a tiebreaker. It is Joel okay. versus Miff. Name somewhere you'd read a book starting with B. Bleach. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Miff's here. Going to play Quick Draw for real when we come back. Kate, Tim and Joel's Quick Draw. Quick Draw. Miff's here. We have our we have the time of our life when she's here. And that also happens to be the name of her. Are we calling it a memoir? I guess it's technically a memoir because it is about you. Yeah. yeah it is a memoir, I think. Stories of my life, cherry picked. It's, it's not... beautiful. Yeah. I can't wait yeah. to read Thank this. You. you also do the the Bang On podcast with uh with Zan Rowe or mm-hmm. Zane Rowe as she was announced at your book launch on Monday, which is not to be confused <laughs> by <laughs> with Zane Rowe. Oh my god. <laughs> Zane Zane Rowe. Rowe. He's No, the the lady before Rosie oh, Beaton got the, the bookstore yeah. lady. Had all these names that she'd never seen before. I think she called her D- Donald J instead of Double J. Well, and I'm, I'm, I'm really glad she didn't say my name wrong, which I've gone into detail about the book, which is easily misunderstood as because my full name's Mafanwi. Yeah. Um, my Fanny Warthurst. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That would have been funny. I think some school. Eurovision might co- viewers might comment that. They, some years, yeah, yeah, I'm sure they do. I'm sure they do. And yeah, Joel, were you going to mention to me that we might be joining you over there next year? I was because we've got a plan, right, Miff? It's okay. a, it's like the, the, around the same time as the King's coronation, so we think we Nova need to be there covering the coro. I don't say Nova. You guys we are need so to royal. be there. Coro. The coro. The coro. Yeah. yeah. The coro. And then yeah, oh yeah, not Nova because they'll, then they'll send Smallsy. Uh, no, exactly and, right. And, and, and He's more of a Black Eurovision. Adam guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He's got the Black <laughs> Adam <laughs> monopoly. Yeah. <laughs> so this we'll be is there. Amazing. Yeah, it'll so be fun. Be there. Yeah. I love this for us. Yeah. I think so too. I think it's great. Um, so look into that, please. Uh, here we go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're playing for real. Ricky, you're scoring. Don't forget, I mean, it's almost the most important job in this whole operation. Look, I'll see how I go. <laughs> yeah, Ricky, <laughs> if you want to duck out and get a coffee or something. <laughs> <laughs> um, best of seven, first of four. Name a genre of music starting with P. Pop punk. Oh, Joel. Joel. Joel, got it. Well done. Oof. 
You are really quick what? too. You are really quick. I, yeah, I'm in a. I'm, I'm in, in the zone, zone today. I've, zone. I did a, a gig earlier, and that sort of got me up and about. Okay, I'm not She's in the zone. Sharp. I need to get there. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're punk was another zone one too in Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. true. That's true. Oh, yeah, punk was another one. Did you watch that pistol show about the Sex Pistols? I haven't yet. No. Oh, it's good. No. Is it good? Yeah. It's a bit telly right. movie, but it's Danny, Danny Boyle, you know? I oh, see. I don't mind a bit of a telly movie approach. A bit of a daytime, you <laughs> yeah, know? Sure, yeah. Hallmark. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hallmark it was just really obvious at the it. start. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, question number two. Name a type of wine starting with C. Sauvignon Blanc. Oh. Chardonnay. <laughs> oh, shit. I thought you said that. <laughs> you did that last time. <laughs> and I swore to oh, it's fine. And don't Carl, worry. didn't Carl Stefanovic do that? He, he said, name a fish starting with C and he said snapper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, he did. <laughs> Yeah, he's also simple. Uh, no, it's all it's just a part of the game. I get it. It's the pressures of the game. Okay. Whew. Score, please, Ricky. Two to Joel. Ooh. Miff. Come on. Zero. Zero. There's some people you really want to beat. Yeah. And then there's like, and then Miff's not, not that. And then there's Miff. <laughs> yeah. Name something you'd buy from a butcher starting with L. Loin. Oh, yes. <laughs> what else would you buy? Oh, lamb. <laughs> lamb. Oh, yeah, just heaps of different lamb varieties. Yeah, lamb loin. Okay, that's good. Notice I went with loin, though, instead of the actual animal. <laughs> loin. 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 I'll have loin. loin. Don't I'll, mind the animal. Uh, yeah, I don't, don't care. I'll just have loin of any variety, please. <laughs> uh, have you ever had the emperor's cut before? Oh, what is that? that? So it's a cut of meat on the on the cow because you know how many like you can get heaps of steaks out of one cow, but the uh, the emperor's cut is only one cut per animal. So they always saved that for the emperor. Oh, no. It just tastes like steak. I'm asking for that from now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. the emperor's cut. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Is the emperor, emperor's cut still available or has someone already ordered it? I'll we'll have it with some truffle, please. Yeah. Mm. Yes. And some hot English mustard. Oh, Italy's on the phone. Oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm never over that. I've never got over that. Name a slice, a uh, slice. Name a style of dance starting with H. Hot, hot, hot foot. No. Hot foot. Hot foot. <laughs> hot foot. <laughs> Um, I, was thinking, I was trying to think of the hot shoe shuffle. <laughs> what did you say, Miff? Hot foot. Oh, you said hot foot. <laughs> hot foot. I said hula hoop. <laughs> what did you say? It's like, I said hula, hula hooping. Oh, I mean, up, up, to you, up to you, Ricky. Up to you, Ricky. It's up to you, Ricky. How did no one say hip hop? Yeah, well, oh, it's fine when you're not playing with the hokey the pokey or Highland yeah. dancing. <laughs> it is. It's when you're not playing, you can be so judgy. It's so. I fun. know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Ricky, what are we? Where, where, those are a dance okay. style. All right, good. You're out. Oh, that, that question's are... out. Don't you shuffle? Come wow. On. <laughs> okay, here we go. Question number four. Foot shuffle. Okay. Name a European country starting with S. Scandinavia. I... I said Scandinavia, but that's not a country. <laughs> <laughs> I stopped myself up. I know oh, no, you scared did. Scanned it. I saw you stop. What did you say, Joel? Spain. That'll do. This game? I hate it. I'm so bad at it. The, 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 you, the deer in headlights look as you got to the scan. I don't scan. Because I'm up in Brisbane, I thought my screen had frozen. <laughs> no, I just, I'm just going to have to reboot my system. Yeah, just shut it down as soon as it's Oh, Grant Danny's here. He's got a compliment. Uh, nice one. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> um, Ricky, this means something massive, doesn't it? Yep, it's 3-1 it's to Joel. So oh, no. If Joel gets this one, he wins the game. Yep, that's it. Is that okay. right? That's right. the rule? Well I'm done. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Still. I'm not good at maths, you know? That's all right. You're doing well. Thanks, guys. I mean, I so far, best of the bunch, doing a great job. Wow. <laughs> yeah. it's well, all, thanks, Manu. It's all, oh, pretty wow. business. it's all pretty business maths in here, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Class today. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's really hectic, Mum. For the win, you Joel. Should... Oh, okay. To oh. stay in the game, Miff. Yeah, well, any. I was going to say, m m maths, um, Miff doing the scores at Eurovision <laughs> each year. <laughs> so, so funny to watch. <laughs> Us at times taking the microphone off and I'm like, you just yes. have a little moment. I'm like, you know how dogs have like a third eyelid? Yeah. <laughs> Mine just kind of goes up and you can't see them <laughs> sleep behind the eyes. But did Miff get the uh, phone number as wrong as you did? No, uh, she didn't get the phone number wrong like I did when I just read out a completely random number at the start of Australia. I know, I kept getting calls all the time. I'm like, you read out my number. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't think you can do that. You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, I know. Whew. I'm seeing someone next week. Um, <laughs> for the wind, I'll stay in the game. If name a style of swimming, starting with B. Breaststroke. 
Oh, that was so close. We have to go to a replay there. Have to. It's too big to not. Have you noticed how much, how like the full bogan comes out with both of us though? Yeah, you know, it's like breaststroke. I know. Oh, I said breaststroke. Oh, you said breaststroke. Yeah. I said. Mm. Oh, well. All right. <laughs> I'm a breast man. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Get this me is. Get <laughs> of what a reference. <laughs> <laughs> Someone, someone said his name to me the other day. And oh, I know. I just, it brought a whole lot of memories. Back. One of the first TV chefs ever. Um, here we go. Breaststroke. Oh. Breaststroke. Breaststroke. Oh, that's a tie. Breaststroke. I can't be a tie. We're so late. Breaststroke. That's a tie. Okay. It's a tie. It's a tie. <gasps> okay, tie. I'll take it out in this next point. Yeah, he will. Next question. Name an animal with four legs starting with C. Cat. Cat. Oh, you yeah! I felt no. the pressure to win and also to wrap it up for five minutes. <laughs> oh my god, Miff, so lovely to see you. Is there a song that we can end with? Oh my god, anything you like, because like okay, you, know, you have you your like. own soundtrack, anything so play like. something beautiful that right, I well, love. We just want something for, for you. Um, the book is out. Uh, Spicks and Specs. Hopefully, we'll be back. I loved this series. So nice to see you as always. Yeah, love you guys. Thank love you for you, having Miffy. me again. I hate competing against you, but I love you too. <laughs> Kate, Tim, and Joel is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.